proxy media. In simple terms, these are lighter versions of your video files, which are super helpful in a smoother playback while editing your high resolution video files. Let's see how to generate them in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. Now, before you actually generate the proxy media files, you need to tweak some settings. So let's go to the project settings on the bottom right of your screen. Click on this gear in master settings, scroll below and you will see optimized media and render cache. First option is proxy media resolution. By default, it will be on choose automatically, but we don't want that. We want to tell DaVinci what resolution we want. So click on it and go to either half or quarter. I generally go with half, but if you have a weaker PC or a laptop, you can go even further below 1.8 or 1.16. I generally go with half. Then we have proxy media format. Go with H.264, best one. Then scroll below. Here you will see proxy generation location. This is the storage where all your proxy media files, the half resolution files, will get stored on your PC. Now the problem with this is, let's say you have several projects, five to six projects. All of the proxy media files that you generate for those projects will all get saved at this one location. We don't want that. What we want is we want to generate the proxy files of this project at the location where the original footage is stored. So to do that, all you have to do is for now, save it, then go to DaVinci Resolve on the top left of your screen and go to preferences. In this, in system, go to media storage and here by default, this option use project setting will be enabled. We don't want that. Click on proxy subfolders in media file location. What this will do is it will store the proxy media files at the location where your original footage is stored. It will create a subfolder called proxy and in that your proxy media files will be stored. So select this, hit save and your settings are done. Now let's create the actual proxy files. How to do that? Simply go to media pool, click on your video files or select multiple if you have, right click on them and select generate proxy media. Click on it. Let it generate the proxy media, wait for it to generate and there we have it. The proxy media has been generated, but it has just been generated. You have not enabled it in DaVinci Resolve. How to do that? There are two ways. First one is the older way to do it. Go to playback, go to proxy handling and select prefer proxies. And as you can see in the media pool, PXY has been enabled. And now if you scroll through your timeline, it will be as smooth as possible. See, you can see every single frame, how, how much of a fast you scroll it, right? And then the second way is a uh, faster way, one click less above your preview screen. As you can see here, PXY, just click on it. And as you can see, disable proxies, prefer proxies, prefer camera original, same three options. You can simply select for prefer proxies. If you want to see the full resolution files, click on prefer camera originals. And as you can see, HQ here is shown and then it will start lagging again. But then you can also go with prefer proxies and you're good to go. And if you want to disable them, disable all the proxies, your, your preference. Now let's see if the proxy files have been stored at the location where our original footage is. So if I open my file explorer, as you can see, this is the original footage. And as you can see here, proxy. If I double click on it, the proxy file is here. So that's how it gets stored. Another thing to note is that let's say you have multiple, let's say hundred videos with 4k or 8k resolution, and you want to generate proxy files for them. How you will do it? You'll go to media pool, select all of them, right click, generate proxy media, like I said, but what will happen is once you click on generate proxy media, DaVinci will start generating it. But in the meanwhile, when it's generating it, you can't use DaVinci resolve. So all that time will get wasted. We don't want that. So what you'll do is you'll simply search for black magic proxy generator on your PC. It gets installed when you install the venture resort. Click enter, let it open, let it take its time. And once you open it, first you get three options. Create proxies in H.264 8-bit half resolution 1080, H.264 8-bit full resolution 1080 and H.265 10-bit 1080. We want to go with the first option, right? Then we have watch folders, something called as watch folders. What is it? Simply click on add. Go to the location where your original media is stored, select that location and then hit on start and it will start generating your proxy media in the background. So you can use the Vinci Resolve while the proxies are getting generated in the background all the time. And then all you have to do is simply go ahead with your editing and the proxies will keep generating and you can simply enable the proxies here like I had shown. Now once we have generated all the proxies that we need once all of the editing is over, in the deliver section, you might think that when we are delivering, you might have a question that does DaVinci Resolve export the proxies? Do we have to change some kind of setting? No. DaVinci Resolve is smart enough to understand that you want the highest quality resolution for your renders, right? So it will by default render the highest quality video of your file unless you tell them to do otherwise, which is if you go to custom export, right? And if you scroll below to advanced settings. Here you get an option 
to use optimized or use proxy media. So if you select use proxy media, then only it will generate the proxy media files, the half resolution. Otherwise, by default, DaVinci Resolve will export the highest quality renders for you. No need to change any kind of setting. It will automatically do that. So that was the process, guys. That's how you can generate proxy media files in DaVinci Resolve and edit your videos super fast by having a smoother playback. I hope this video helps you. And if it does, make sure you like the video. It really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also, share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to this channel. I post such video editing tutorials, how to tech videos, tech reviews, I stream games occasionally, and I post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shorts. I also have a website where I post weekly blogs about all of the stuff that I just mentioned and I have a gumroad shop where I sell video editing assets at a super affordable price. The links to all of these are in the description. And that brings us to the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.